Are you looking to buy your very first camera? If so, you're going to want to make sure that you get the best option on your budget. You can find an entry level camera for as low as $300 to as high as $2,000. So in this video, I'm going to break down the very best options that are available for you right now, as well as going into 2023. All the cameras I'm going to mention in this video are going to be linked in the description down below. They are affiliate links, so I do get a kickback if you use those links. Before we get started, you're probably going to need to understand what entry-level cameras are. Entry-level cameras are designed for those of you who just need a simple point-and-shoot camera. They have the lens built right into it. There's no super crazy features. Just simply turn the camera on, point, and shoot. So for those of you that are on a super small budget and just want a $300 to $500 camera, you may need to consider the Lumix DC ZS70. This camera features a 24 to 720 millimeter focal range. What makes this camera unique from any other camera on the market is the fact that it can actually shoot 4K video at such a low price, as well as the ability to shoot 60 frames per second in HD and 120 frames per second in standard definition. This camera has a built-in flash. There is no cold shield on this camera, so you can't mount an external microphone to it. So you have to rely on the mics that are built in this camera. Like I said, these cameras are really built for those of you that just want to quickly pick it up point and shoot. This camera definitely packs a punch, especially at the low price of $300 to $400, depending on what sales are going on. If you have a little bit of extra money and you're looking for a camera in between $500 and $1,000, then you may need to consider the Canon G7X Mark III. The Canon G7X is an iconic camera that's been around for years. So many different content creators literally had their start using the Mark I to create content. And to this day, even the Mark I stands up to a lot of the cameras that are on the market. The Mark III, however, has way more advanced features than even the Mark I or the Mark II had. This camera has a built-in zoom lens with an equivalent focal range of 24 to 100 millimeters, as well as the ability to shoot 4K at 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second in HD, as well as up to 120 frames per second in HD. The G7X also does have a flip-up screen so you can actually see yourself. It is kind of at an awkward angle though, so you do have to just keep that in mind that it is right above the microphone. One of my favorite features about this camera is the fact that it has a pretty decent autofocus system right out of the box. You don't have to worry about it losing track of your face, especially in environments where you're moving the camera around a lot or even taking pictures. This camera also has an HDMI out port, so you can use this camera to live stream with the necessary hardware that you'd need. And with all the features that it comes packed with, you can get this camera for around $700. Depending on the time of the year, you can find a good deal on this camera, especially if you're looking to buy it brand new. So now if you're looking to get the very best entry level camera and you have up to $1,000 to spend, I would highly recommend you look at the Sony ZV-1. The Sony ZV-1 is honestly designed for us content creators. It has a cold shoe mount, the ability for you to plug in an external microphone, as well as a fixed lens that has a focal length that is equivalent to 35 millimeter of 24 to 70. That means that you're gonna have all the focal ranges that most of you need, especially if you're looking to vlog or create content like this. This camera also shoots 4K at 24 frames per second and can shoot up to 120 frames per second in HD. It obviously also has Sony's color science as well as their color profiles in mind for those of you that are looking to really maximize the output of this camera. This camera is honestly a great buy, especially if you're looking to get the most out of your camera system and you want the very best with all the modern features that you need to create content. Honestly, all these cameras that I mentioned, they're great buys, whether you have a low budget or you just want the very best and you want the latest and greatest. I would highly recommend that you use any of these camera systems. Some of these options like the Sony or the Canon do have a better autofocus system than the Panasonic camera. However, at the end of the day, it's up to you and what you can do with that camera system and create the content that you need to create with it. So if you have any other questions, please let me know down in the comments below. This channel is all about helping you and inspiring you to create content with whatever means necessary. So if you're interested in learning about technology, gear, other ways of creating content, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And as always guys, have a great day.